All right, guys, back at you. Just sharing you some stuff that I use for my my dogs. Um, some wheat germ oil. Been watching Thompson's Kennels for about three years now. He taught me a lot, and he had some of this shit, and I had to hunt to get this stuff done. Once I saw it in my country, I snatched it up one time, because they didn't have it at all anywhere. And they just put it in recently. So yeah, snatched that up one time. Uh, got some some red cell too. But I don't use I don't use it a whole lot. I put a little teaspoon in the feed once a month. That's it, just once a month. I don't really put a whole lot, you know what I mean? Next, I have, you know, some Bruges yeast tablets, you know, um, wild cut liver oil, and also some coconut oil. This is the coconut oil I use. Like I said, I don't put it in the feed all the time, you know what I mean? Just, you know, periodically. You don't want to put too much of one thing, you know. And then, when I do give them a bath, you know, I clean them with, you know, I do um, air cleaner. I'm big up to um, APBT, Canine Athletes. He put me onto this. So, yeah, man. Props to you, man. You know what I mean? I can pick that up. And this is what I use for when I spray inside the dog boxes, like inside um, Benz's is barrel and Peach's dog box. I spray that on all in there. And then when I bath them, it's what I spray on them after I bath them. This is what I spray on them when I finish bathing them. It works pretty good. It works damn good, you know. And these are some of the products that I use for my horns. Uh, we don't have heartworm in Bermuda, but I still treat my dogs for heartworm. This is the dewormer that I use right here. The liquid one. I also bought the paste, but I got the liquid ones right now. And then... I have a Mactum paste. You have to know what you're doing to use this. Do a little bit of math and you'll be all right. Then I got some, some ur, shit, sorry guys. Some ur wipes, you know what I mean? Um, This is freaking great, okay? This is awesome. I can't get New stock because it's too it's too expensive to ship to to um my home country Bermuda. It's too expensive, so this works just as well, heals up the wounds and cuts, and you know this is what I use to help bring back Ben's um coat uh, on his legs, and it works awesome. It's just like new stock, but. In my opinion, new stocks, the the la creme or the la creme when it comes to ointments. But this works just as good already. And I also have some, you know, some peroxide. I don't have any iodine. I don't have no iodine. So if iodine wound spray, because I used it all. I also have this here too, Wonder Dust. It also works awesome. Wonder Dust also works awesome. Like I said, big up to Thompson's Kennels. He put me onto a lot of this stuff. You know, even though I've read a lot, but there's a lot of stuff that they have that you can't. You know, basically, everything that you read is good, but it's nothing like hands on and certain tips and stuff helps out better than you get it from a seasoned dog man or a seasoned person period 
that's been dealing with these dogs, you know. I also have um, Lima coal too that I use, you know what I mean. I put it on a cloth, rub it on the belly, you know, help them cool them off. But you got to be careful with this also, you know. But you know, you can't learn you can't learn everything by textbooks. You know, you gotta get out there, put in the work. And you know, watch guys like Thompson's Kennels, South Town Kennels, shit, uh, Mayhem, big up to Mayhem. His his told me a few things, you know. Also have harness for when I, you know, work my door when he carpet meal. I have to get bands of harness. This one's too small. So, you know, small stuff like that, you know what I mean? Just, you know, simple stuff, you know? Like I said, I mainly had two two years hands-on experience with this breed. So, you know, it's trial, trial by fire, you know? But you can only read so much in the textbooks and things change. So, products change. So it's good to know that, you know, by me following other YouTubers that have kennels, that don't have kennels, that have a few dogs, you know. Just simple advice like Mayhem told me to tighten up the collar on bands. I went straight down there and did it. You know, South Town Kennels told me to shorten up my flat pill stick. I did it. You know, certain things like I look for constructive criticism to help me out. You know, like I said, I'm only got two years experience on this breed and just big up everybody that I follow, you know, and I appreciate people that are subscribed to me and, you know, just basically I appreciate everything, you know what I mean? And my intentions is to hopefully when they both hit about two and a half, three years old. I want to go to the States and do some hog hunting, some coon hunting, and if it's legal, do some coyote hunting, like, you know? Really work my dogs before I actually make that decision to breed them. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm really trying to go legit with this stuff. Fully committed and trying to put in that work. That's the only way you can learn. You got to put in that work. So, you know, like I said, thanks again, guys, for subscribing, and I thank you for the support from these few that do comment on my posts, and even the ones that don't comment on my posts. I watch your channel, and I learn from you guys still, you know? Everybody has a little unique way of doing things, and I take all the information from everybody, and I you know, I apply what works, see what works with my dogs. And even when it comes to feed and all that there, I feed kibble right now. So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Raw feed is the best feed. So, but on that note, things do happen. So, got to resort to kibble. But, like I said, I want to thank everybody for subscribing and sharing and giving me little tips. And, yeah, man. Trish Southern Triple J, I hope to hog hunt with you in the future. I'm really trying to, you know, make make my family of dogs top quality, you know. And anyway, by doing that, got to put in the work. So, like I said, thanks again. And everybody out there, keep bulldogging and practice proper dog ownership from Team No Nonsense. Out.